So cycle number three is out to Lawrencetown on a bit of a loop and uh, we're going to come back uh, on a quick uh, trek through Kiltormer. So we're going out the R355. Uh, we started at Garbley Gates and you have about three roundabouts to cross over the Garbley roundabout. And you're looking for the R355, the Portumna direction uh, all the time. You go out uh, past, you'll see the little sign for Loch Derg. Uh, pass through the Moha roundabout and out the Bertumna road. So it's about a 35 kilometer loop in total. You can do it in about uh, an hour and 40. Uh, there's the golf club, you'll pass by that on the left hand side. The uh, Banlaslow uh, Golf Club in Rosclass was formed in 1894, one of the oldest in the West and uh, has an 18 hole parkland course. The Banlaslow Rugby Club, founded in 1875, only moved to Craigan and Winnie in its home grounds in 1975 with the development of the uh, Father Christy Glynn clubhouse and facilities. Uh, we're not going up that way to Clantuskert village, we're continuing straight on, uh, past the Lismani Gate Lodge and uh, the whole story of the Abbey. Uh, it's here on the left hand side. Clantuskert Priory, which is a, a real hidden gem of, um, of a monastic uh, abbey ruin, up there with Clan McNoise and indeed Clanfert. Uh, the Augustinian Priory of St Mary was founded in the 12th century by Thoric O'Connor, who was the King of Connacht. Uh, people reckon that it wasn't a site of an earlier monastery founded by St Baton, uh, who died around 1810. It was built in the, in the plain in which the church and domestic buildings of the monastery were arranged around a central cloister or a garden, a practice that had become as was common for all the religious orders in the rule of St Benedict since the early 9th century. Um, by the end of the 13th century, the monastery had become corrupt, Kel Supri, and was burned down in the first decade of the 15th. It was rebuilt shortly afterwards, when the tenure indulgences were granted for all those who were helped with the building. Um, you pass the fishing grounds going down the, uh, to the Suck, because the whole road to Lawrence Town is bordered by the Callows and, and the Suck. Uh, four kilometres out, you get the gate lodge to the Pollock uh, estate. That's the famous Ogilvy store, which was built in 1858 by uh, the uh, Pollock owner of the model farm in Ganavine. And then we're swinging back uh, into Lawrencetown on the R55. The Lawrencetown Community Development Group have created a wonderful downloadable app with uh, wonderful uh, explanations and guides to some 18 uh, odd uh, what activities and places and locations you can go to. We just spun by the you know, lovely playground that's on the, uh, in, on the grounds of the village. It has a lovely picnic table if you want to take some time to maybe have a, have a spot of lunch or a bit of a snack. There are two pubs in the village. There's parties and the beautiful bird. Uh, the village is dedicated to St Mary and they have a Catholic church. There's the village green, a wonderful old P&T box. And the village itself was founded by uh, Colonel Lawrence, who got a large tract of land for military campaigning. So it's typical uh, of a lot of landowning uh, states around. Torik Jirbe de August Gronje is commemorated by a uh, piece of sculpture there made by uh, artist Padraig Rini. And it commemorates one of the beds that Torik and, and or the Jirbe de Gronje slept in. Lichine, the Community Development Group, have done a wonderful walk and trail here. And the, the original founding seat in Lawrencetown, Ballymore Castle, is viewable from there. This is the wonderful folly that you have to cycle through. Uh, it's a, a tree arcade, which is beautiful in autumn as well. And we're going out the Portum Road. Now, this is a critical uh, sharp uh, right to trap some of the wonderful hidden gems of the follies and medieval Gothic nature that were created in the 1700s. This, this is the original gate entrance to the Lawrence Town Estate that was built in 1796 to commemorate the Irish volunteers in 1782 by Colonel Walter Lawrence. We're swinging then back just quickly to the village of Kiltormer. You have to make a right here. We're not doing the village of Kiltormer today and we're pedalling all the way up to Clantusker Church the Church of St Augustine, which to the rear has the famous uh, Clontuskert GEA playing fields. Lots of young hurlers and footballers and GEA sports stars have been forged on these playing fields. Uh, there's the Church of St Augustine on the hill that you leave behind. Uh, about two miles after that, you come to Stapleton's Agri Supplies and you come back up to the T-junction on the R355, which is about three kilometres south of Banlaslow. You make a left of that and that'll take you back to the Garbley roundabouts and the Moher roundabouts. Our next cycling tour will hopefully be visiting Ockram. Any comments or suggestions or stuff we left out, please give us a mention under here. Thanks.